All right, guys, we're going to make chocolate chunk cookies today. It's chocolate chip cookies, but with chunks instead of regular chips. Okay, you need two one-fourth cups of sugar, or flour, sugar, flour. And you don't want to pack it down, you want it loose. Okay, there's two cups. Let's get her one fourth. Okay, nice flour. Next dry ingredient, we're going to do salt. We want a teaspoon of salt. And we'll pour it over um, this measuring cup. That way, we don't get it into our ingredients in case it goes over. Up, oh, see? Alright, you want to level it out, make sure it's level. It's a teaspoon. Teaspoon of baking soda. About there. Boom. Put that to the side real quick. All right. That's our dry ingredients. I oh, just poured that extra salt. In there. Man, it sucks. Okay. Kind of mix that in. You just mix it up a little bit, so. Later, we're going to add it to our wet mixture right now. It's that. Two sticks of softened butter. And that's actually butter, not margarine. Margarine's no good. Pop that down in there. Get this flour out the way real quick. Okay, two full sticks of butter. We're going to make lots of cookies here. Yeah. Should make about two bad. Two uh, dozen. Okay. Now we're going to use dark chocolate chunk. So it's a little, a little darker, but you know, still good for you. Yummy. So on this bowl, we got our sour for butter. Yeah. We need a teaspoon of vanilla. Yeah. We'll get a teaspoon. Again, we're going to do it over our measuring cup. That way we don't spill it. Put it into our ingredients. Don't want that bad. Teaspoon. Boom. Okay. Okay, with the teaspoon, then we're going to um, eggs. add our sugar and brown sugar oh. and then our eggs. So we need three fourths cups of sugar and we need three fourths cups of Firmly packed brown sugar. So we're gonna take our brown sugar. Brown sugar. We're gonna pack it firm. So what that means is we're gonna kind of push it down, make sure it's all broke up. And uh, three fourths cup. Oh, the ingredients are pretty cheap. Let's check where that is. That's about three sweet. fourths. So we'll push it down. Make sure it's broke up. We'll push it down. Pretty firm. And we'll need a little more. I bet you that's it there. Break that up. Push it down. And three fourths cup. I can smell the vanilla already. There's three fourths cup brown sugar it's now. A sugar. Chunk. We're not going to push it down. It's gonna be loose. So Three-fourths cups of granulated sugar. And three-fourths cups of granulated sugar. Yeah. Okay, let me get my whisk real quick. We're going to mix this in. The, other, the reason I use a whisk instead of beaters, like an electric beater, because you don't want to over mix this. But you pretty much want to mix this until it's smooth or creamy. Every once in a while you have to stop and take your measuring spoon there or whatever and push this butter back through. If you get a bigger whisk, it's a little easier. Push it around a little easier.
Well, um, on my channel, Killer Creepers with, er, it's not Killer Creepers anymore, but, any, on my channel, we did cookies, but the flour was wrong, so they were kind of flat. Um, they still taste great, but they were flat. If you want to see that fail, uh, just watch in the video here, I'll add his channel to the links. So you can go on and see where it failed. Like I said, they still tasted great, but uh, since we used almond flour, they sure didn't come out like we wanted. Nope. Okay, so there's our whipped ingredients. Like I said, you want it kind of creamy. And that's not real creamy, but you get to this point, and you're going to add eggs. You're going to add them one at a time. Your two eggs. And here's one. That's good enough for now. There's our second. Perfect. Smack. You mix it. Smack it. That was good and creamy. Smack the yolk. This calls for large eggs. You can use medium. If you use small eggs, you're probably going to use the third one instead of just two. Okay, that's about like we want it there. We take our dry ingredients and we're gonna add them slowly. So add about you know a quarter of them. Go to mixing. Like I said, it's much quicker with a uh, electric um, mixer. But what you want to do is make sure you don't over mix because you don't. Want you don't want your cookies to be soft. I have a little bit of crunch on the edge, but you don't want it to be so thin they're just crispy. Or you don't want them to be dense either. Okay. So there's all the dry ingredients in here. Let's just mix it until it's done. And then the next step is going to be adding our chocolate chunks and when we do that we're actually going to mix it in by hand the reason I mix them in by hand is because I want to make sure they're evenly spread out not all in one cookie and if your dough is right it's going to be firm enough that you can roll them into balls but soft enough sticky enough it's still going to get your hands a little bit Okay, yeah, that's about how we want it right there. Now, if you have your own chickens or you get your eggs from somebody like a farmer's market or something that has their own chickens, you can eat this. You know, if you like cookie dough, feel free. But we bought ours at a local, you know, Walmart or some, something like that. So we don't know, we can't trust our eggs. We don't know the original source. So we won't be eating this cookie dough. Ow. Until it's fully cooked. No reason to get sick. Cookie dough is gross anyway. It actually does taste good, but you don't need it. Okay. I would know. Mix them in real good there. See how it's firm, but it's still sticky enough to stick to you. Okay. And you get your oven preheated, 350, 375, depending on what elevation you're at. Here in Arkansas, 350 will work just fine. Okay. So, all the instructions and stuff said to use an ungreased baking sheet. Always grease mine, but just lightly. Because I don't like stuck cookies. So, we'll roll these in a ball, like so. Alright guys, went ahead and we took our two spoon method. Went ahead and rolled them out like that. You know, make them too big. I'm gonna keep it smaller. Um, this is just the first batch. We're gonna pop them in the oven, 10 to 15 minutes, and uh, see how it comes out. All right, guys. There's the dark chocolate chip cookies. After you can see how they're firm yet soft, and uh, they're good.